We are here to give you 10 things to do during quarantine to not get bored. I think that's pretty fun because some things people may think of and some things people are like, huh, I didn't think about that. I'm going to try that. Our first idea to keep you from being bored is to clean and organize your house. Because I know that when you get home from work, you are throwing that crap on the ground and you are not putting it where it goes. So, now's your chance. Put your stuff where it belongs. Sweep the dog hair. You know that's been there too long. That bathroom of yours, it is time to clean that. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording! GoPro, stop recording! GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. It's stuck. Okay, so thing number two to help you not be bored is uh, stay active. I know for us, we've been off for a month and I spent a lot of time on YouTube and Netflix and Disney Plus and started getting some back fat. So <laughs> we've started walking. Um, regardless of the weather, we're still trying to get out. You know, you threw off my groove. Beware the groove. So, so thing number three, to not get bored while you're on this shelter in place quarantine is to discover a new hobby. Maybe you wanna try that recipe that's been pinned in your Pinterest board for like four years. Maybe you wanna learn how to bake. Maybe you want to learn how to use a camera. Maybe you want to learn how to um, create furniture. Just something new that you've always kind of thought about but never really um, put your heart and soul into it. Now's the chance to discover that. So we're walking along this trail. There's a lot of people that are running and jogging. And I commend them because I can't run. I have asthma. I will collapse to the floor. I don't have the strength to run, though I've always wanted to be a runner. Maybe I can try that one day, today, but today's not that day. Tomorrow's not looking like it either. So item number four that we have is breaking old habits and creating new habits. So for me, I have always bit my nails my entire life. I've always had nubs. I always had to get nails put on and it just didn't last because I had no nubs. You know, I just had nubs and nothing else. So my habit that I'm breaking during this quarantine is I'm not biting my nails. I'm breaking the habit of biting them. Look at them, you can actually see some actual nails and <laughs> not just nubs. And creating new habits, maybe you've always wanted to be a morning person. Maybe you've always wanted to get up and read a book before you've gotten ready. Or maybe you've always wanted to do a study of some sort and you want to do that morning or night, you can create that habit. I think it takes a couple months for a habit to really start becoming a habit where you start doing it without even noticing. So yeah, it's number four, breaking habits and creating new ones. There's Tucker trying to find the gophers or the chipmunks or squirrels, whatever they're called. You can't tell <laughs> that are in here. He's sticking his head in the hole. <laughs> Tucker, that's not very nice. What number are we? So number five is do that project around the house that you've been putting off. 
So I don't know about you, but I have several things that I've been supposedly working on for months. And it's time to do them. You have the time, so no more excuses. It's just time for us to get to our projects, finish them, and then uh, have some sense of accomplishment. Number six is, if this pandemic has taught us anything, it's emergency preparedness. I know a lot of people weren't prepared to not have toilet paper or not have cleaning supplies um, or food. I don't know if you saw the lines of people buying bottled water. So take this time now to go through what you have and see what you need to make sure that if something like this ever happens again, you're not gonna be caught without having uh, anything. So make sure you have enough food for a couple weeks. Make sure you have some water. Make sure your cars are full of gas. Simple things aren't crazy. You're not prepping for a zombie apocalypse or uh, you know, 25 years of no government or something. Just, just enough to make sure that you can get by if we ever have something like this again. All right, go dude, let's go. You haven't been this way in a while, Tucker, huh? Nope. used to the llamas. I like the llamas. So number seven that we have is finding creative ways to stay connected with loved ones and friends. I know we're used to seeing our families, we're used to seeing our friends, maybe we had that, you know, once a week game night with our family and friends. Well now is our time to get creative. Utilize technology. I know for me, I have been FaceTiming my mom almost every day. We sit on the couch, we FaceTime. And that's how we stay connected. And I know another night, um, we had a game night with Reno's family playing Yahtzee. We had our camera set up, she had her phone set up, and we played Yahtzee with everybody using technology. And with our church, we started using Zoom to stay connected with our church members. That way, there's still that feeling that we're connected, we're still friends. You know, you don't want to lose those relationships. So get creative with it. Utilize what you have. So as we've been walking this road almost every day, we have discovered some people's projects that they've been doing around the house. We have one house that's coming up right now that has redone their whole front gate. And I think it's so cool because we've been seeing the process from when they started to um, each you know section that they've done. You know, they got the pillars up, now they've painted it. So we're gonna see up here what, how far they've gone. It's really cool to see people utilizing their time wisely and not wasting it. So number eight we have is find ways to have date night inside. Some of you are married, some of you are dating. You know, you still want that romance that you have, you know, before, you know, get up, have a movie night, get dressed and make dinner. You know, it doesn't need to be super fancy, but it's just taking that quality time with one another. Um, that way to, you know, keep your relationship going. Look at that full-time RV rig right here. Spacious, luxurious. Okay, number nine on the list is have a barbecue or at least learn how to barbecue because I don't know how to barbecue, but I am really excited just to be outside to do anything. So a new skill for me is gonna be learning how to cook something out there on that barbecue. So number 10 that we have is create new memories during this uncertainty. Now, when was the last time that we have all been home with our families without going to work? Probably never in your lifetime. So now it's the time to um, create new memories. You know, figure out some positivity and some goodness out of this uncertainty. So 
You can't control what happens outside in the world, but you can control how you react and what you're going to do about it. So stay positive, create those memories. Let's not face the face. Right, right arm, there yay. Hold on, let the dog stop looking at What are you doing? Stop it. Okay. So those are our 10 ideas. So those are our 10 ideas. We will see you guys in the next video.